fear is so strong that the night before the contest, when I'm lying in bed, for example, and I'm thinking of my line, I'm thinking of the drops, my heart will start pounding. Fear has been my biggest challenge in this whole world tour adventure. I think, um, you know, fear is your instinct of saying, hey, things can really happen. I have to, to let go of the fear, otherwise it's dangerous. And so it's all about just channeling that fear into something positive and using it to motivate you. It's the finals in Verbier. If you don't charge, someone else is going to charge harder. The Beck de Ross is without a doubt one of the most formidable faces that we will face on the tour. It was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. It's more rock than snow. Exposure the entire way down. Just this pyramid with so much exposure and it's the only venue that I've been at the morning of the contest and felt nauseous. I know people that have fallen and got hurt on there. I have no interest in skiing it again. I think it's totally terrifying. It's a bottom only inspection so I think the biggest worry is being able to try to find the line that you picked and not to get lost or not to get yourself into trouble. But then when you're getting out of the start gate, everything is gone and you, you're focusing on your run. It's a cool part of being a, a free rider because it's like that end of, the, end of the road, all the cards on the table kind of last event. While you're doing the run, you don't feel the fear anymore. You're just so focused on on your line, on where you need to be. You just have to let your body take over. So obviously with skiing, there's always going to be fear or there's going to be confidence issues. Or I think it's about keeping kind of those emotions in check. It's part of it. I think that's what comes down to mental strength. And that's what I think is probably, in my eyes, the most important thing in the sport. And trusting yourself and trusting your judgment and your ability. You haven't got here by not being good enough. I was having these micro dreams that all the features were too close and there was too much slough and so this morning I decided to change my lineup and stayed on my feet. What I like to tell myself is that uh, if, if it's really that scary then maybe I should be reconsidering where I'm going because for me free ride is more really enjoyment. I mean it's finding the best snow, it's finding like the line that really speaks to you. If I'm not loving it and skiing something that I might ski anyways if it wasn't in the competition. I can't really get the motivation I need to, to do it to its fullest. You get finished and you're done, it's just a sigh of relief and all your friends are down there and it's a really good feeling. So your feelings on being world champion? I kind of believe it. It's my first year on the tour and yeah, I didn't expect it. I've got no words. I've gotten second quite a few times and really happy to finally take down the whole tour. This is uh, what I've worked for for 10 years almost and uh, in Verbier, I couldn't be a better place to do it. There's just a lot of amazing history that's pushed us into this moment and uh, I'm excited to see what happens in the next few years too.